Now, speaking of, and we're not going to touch on this just because mm. if something's out there in the news, we have to comment on it. Uh, you know, whether we think it should be in the news or not, we, we comment on stuff that's out there. You know, the World Cup again, I'm by no means a major soccer fan, but people are talking about it. Okay. And there are stories that are coming out of it, so doggone it, we're going to talk about it here on the show. Okay. We just got out of the dungeon, which made me think about the other story which, which broke in, which, you know, it, it's it's... It's almost a sad statement on society. One of the websites that I go to is msnbc.com during the day, um, in addition to Drudge Report, all the stuff that I do. msnbc.com, breaking news. Mm -hmm. It's in red uh, on the top of the screen. I'm thinking, was there another tsunami? Did they fix the BP oil spill? Right. Something of uh, substance, right? Something of substance, yeah. or, or, or you know, something crazy happened. I know people or we're dealing with the heat wave mm -hmm. across numerous states thought something might have Floods, been happening maybe. with that yeah nope it said click here and streaming live no not unfiltered we'll be there one day streaming live at the uh, at the top you know this is like at the top this is above the lead story streaming live right now Lindsay lohan and her court appearance <laughs> yes that's right on msnbc.com and then it was all across the web. I wanted to do, you know, my own personal inventory. CNN, mm -hmm. CNN.com even had the Lindsay Lohan streaming live right there. Their courtroom dramatics. The courtroom dramatics, which I uh, think a lot of people watched and saw. Mm -hmm. I went online, was looking at people's comments, what people were saying about things. Um, I, I saw the theatrics. I, I watched that, of course. Yeah. I did. After it was there, definitely checked that out what, what finally happened she got sentenced three months uh, uh, yes For she violations of multiple violations of probation <laughs> you know the judge actually <laughs> you know there were all of these cases that were going on and she violated the stuff so it was like you know Lindsay, you're getting 30 days for this, mm -hmm. and then 30 days for that, mm -hmm. and then 30 days for this. And then after that, you're going to do 90 days in an inpatient facility. Uh -huh. Just want to clarify a couple of things for people. Unfortunately, I have seen the interior of a jail cell. I've said this before, and it wasn't because I was on a field trip. Um, <laughs> some people were saying Lindsay Lohan's going to prison. Just want to let everybody know out there, Lindsay Lohan is not going to prison. No. Jail sucks. Yep. Anybody that's been in yes. there, even for Absolutely. five minutes for a speeding ticket, will tell you that it sucks. Mm -hmm. She's going to jail, not prison. It's a whole separate thing. It's a whole separate not thing. That that minimi not that that makes it any better, well, I mean, but... I mean, she has Lindsay Lohan, so it is, and it is the quote-unquote jail that Paris spent some time in. So it's going to be a little easier for her, a little uh, cushier, but it's not prison. Exactly. It's not we shanking, like walking down the hall. And, you know, fights every five seconds. I mean, it's really totally different than prison. I mean, I wouldn't know about prison. I would know a little bit about the jail. But um, Lindsay is not going to prison. She's not going to prison. No. It's kind of like when you see, um, you know, you see the shows on A&E and then people, it's like behind the scenes uh, of a jail. And so someone who's been picked up for DUI or... Mm -hmm marijuana possession or shoplifting they're at the jail they might spend a couple of days there and then people awaiting you know court trials they've got a section she'll be in a situation like that right. she's not going to the women's correction facility <laughs> of california where people have received multiple year sentences and right. therefore because of that there's all of these gangs this that and the other at a jail people are coming and going uh, there's yeah. not even really the opportunity for that so much so it's not prison no turf wars or anything like that first of on. all no turf wars really <laughs> happen in a jail against cell block okay secondly because our society and we've talked about this we're so quick to throw everybody in jail and imprison everybody for everything everything's against the law yeah when you go to California for a misdemeanor jail offense, basically you serve maybe 25% of your right. sentence. So she's going to end up spending three weeks there off of a 90-day sentence, which sure. isn't special for her, right. which is pretty much par for the course for anybody that's there. That's what happens when we as a society send everybody to jail for everything. For every single thing. Right. So you know what? Three weeks in the slammer, I think it's... I, 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 because she'll dry out. Exactly. I think it's good for her. I think it's good for get her. Some rest. Tighten those bags up underneath their eyes. Well, That's speaking good. of drying out, I need to get me some water. Let's pay some bills. Take this commercial break. Little Learn here. Kane right here. And we are back. That's right. I got um, rehydrated. Me too. So I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Now, this summer, 
And I say the summer, we're already into it. I can't believe it. We've already passed the 4th of July. Yeah. Before you know it, it's it's going it's to be fall, over man. and done with. It'll yeah. be fall. But I know people are, you know, I've been looking at airlines and things are going on. I know you are as well. Yes, yes. And we've talked uh, about airline screenings and issues that come up in airports. Mm -hmm. And So basically just, we talked about going on our next trip with um, skivvies or a fig leaf or something so we can just walk through exactly just security. walk through just because uh, it's and always crazy yeah and then talking about airlines cutting back bathroom usage yeah. i've even heard about ryanair making people stand up all, all these issues come up it's like the world <laughs> cup you throw out airlines and then every uh, so many social issues are there right and it's just crazy. Well, the, I, I just found this story. Uh, we were also talking about airlines in the sense of, you know, we had the bombing, the attempted bombing over Detroit. We were talking sure. about the no-fly list. Oh, yes. And how does this happen? Yeah. And this doesn't make sense that somebody could buy a one-way ticket in cash without any carry-on luggage, mm -hmm. without being stopped, and it just didn't make any sense. <coughs> Pardon sure. me. Well, there's there's another story we were talking about earlier which just this does not make me feel very safe i don't know how this happens and this really should be a story that everyone should have been talking about yesterday yeah. as opposed to Lindsay land <laughs> Lindsay, not Lindsay land no, it's, it was, <laughs> yeah, Lindsay, it was land Lindsay land on the tv absolutely. Lindsay lohan <laughs> and her upcoming you know stay in the psychiatric unit of the gel <laughs> now get this american airlines workers at jfk airport which is here in New York. In our backyard, yes. Now, everybody knows Benjamin Netanyahu has been meeting with Obama. Mm -hmm. They're trying to get back on the page about, you know, the Middle East and what's going on over there. Right. I'm not going to talk about that. The point is, he came over here with security officials. Sure. As He's any the prime minister, yes. Exactly. As any world leader uh, of any stature is going to have a security team. Absolutely. And the security team, of course, is going to have weaponry of some sort. Yes. Guns. Yeah. That's right. That's what security people do for. Oh, hey, you know what? Obama's traveling with some of that. Oh, yeah. Benjamin Netanyahu. Everybody needs a little uh, artillery. Now, a little cover it. Hillary Clinton's probably. Exactly. Oh, yeah. You know, she. <laughs> Mama comes with the big guns, baby. Exactly. This is what <laughs> Hillary comes with. You don't mess with Hillary. <laughs> Hillary wasn't involved this time. But get this. Airline workers at JFK Airport here in New York City lost the luggage belonging to the security officials for Benjamin Netanyahu. Mm -hmm. lost. Now get this. The lost suitcase with weapons inside was eventually discovered in Los Angeles. Wait. Los Angeles. New York. Uh, oh, okay. Exactly. Now, right. and I'm thinking, well, surely Obama's not in L.A. meeting with the Prime Minister her of um, Israel, which right. he's not. He's meeting him in D.C. Washington, D.C., yes. The bag was supposed to have been on the flight from JFK to Washington, D.C., where additional Israeli security officers were being assigned to help with the Israeli leader's visit with President Obama at the White House. Sure. Get this. The suitcase was lost with weapons inside, eventually discovered in Los Angeles, mm -hmm. which is on the other side of the nation for well, anybody who yeah. <laughs> was confused. Exactly. Four Glock 9mm handguns that were in the bag are now missing, and police officials say they believe um, they were stolen. Port Authority Police here at JFK, that's a police force here in New York, are now investigating whether the guns were stolen here in New York or after the missing bag <laughs> arrived in Los Angeles. So the bag was located in Los Angeles without the four 9mm Glocks. Exactly. Okay. So, uh, mm -hmm. this is my thing. <laughs> uh, I'm very, very confused, slightly terrified. Yes. Now, somebody checks in, and they're going to have identification right. saying that they are on the security force mm -hmm. for Benjamin Netanyahu, therefore they've got guns. Here they are. So, that's a big deal right there. Exactly. He, and he rules the country. Exactly. Okay. He, he, a major player yeah. on planet Earth. Yes. Yes. And I'm thinking, surely, they present the artillery. Artillery. 
Mm -hmm. God, I'm making up these words tonight that mean nothing. (laughs) That's what I get. I jinx myself with cephalopod. (laughs) Uh, 